I think I think we prefer Lenny off the show back to leave. Oh, no, off, no, no, no. off the whole group, out the whole premises. No, we, we like her back. <laughs> she comes with violence. But, <laughs> like I mean, I just said I had a, I have a nice voice. Lenny, Lenny said that there's silence in your room. Yeah, like she like she nobody you. even should give you your answer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please. It is 9.23 and uh, getting into the big conversation this morning. We're still gearing up for the Three Music Awards 2024, connecting through music. We are very excited about it um, and we all doing a countdown. We'll be announcing the date shortly, uh, which is in September. But, or however, on the 9th of August, we'll be inside Garage Nightclub from 7 p.m. We'll be announcing the second part of the nominees um, and the categories. But you can catch 2 p.m. right here on screen. Live broadcast of the announcement starts here in the studio. And then we take it to Garage Nightclub. Whilst you're at, at that as well, let me say good morning to our friends at Waka now, uh, because, you know, amazing team, always there to cook up good deals for you, especially when you want to plan those vacation trips, you know, out of town with your bay or just you, holiday destinations. Well, they'll pick it all up for you from the flight to the hotels. Um, you know, yes, airport pickups, you know, um, which destination to go to, Waka now will make it happen for you. How to make it happen? Just visit their travel centers in Accra, Kumasi, Takrade, or in Tamale. Or you can also go on their socials Wakana Ghana and every Friday be today go on the socials Wakana Ghana you would find some amazing deals and offers and prizes yeah, and so giveaways yeah. for you and then also check out the website wakana.com.gh and whilst you are at that Betway is also proud to introduce a brand new game it's called the Fly X with Win Boost it's a game it's a simple game it's very exciting all you do is you bet you blast and you boost your way up to the biggest winnings ever now it's such a fun game to play and it's even more fun to win because you get up to 300% on your winnings that means triple your winnings staring at you right in your face yes with a smile on your face play Fly X with Win Boost exclusively at betway.com Bet responsibly, no under 18. Terms and conditions apply. Bet way, get way more. Now, let's move into our conversation. We'll tell you the rest about, uh, we'll tell you about the rest later on. Mm -hmm. But let's move to our conversation. So we were um, throwing back the performances from the three music awards 2022, looking at the you know from the technical to the production to the artist choice of music to fashion, just doing an overall review on the performances. We did uh, Black Sheriff the other time, um, whose iconic performance went viral um, and in fact drew so much numbers on socials. Also caused um, or you know started a, a challenge if i can see where people were pouring water on them through the colander and performing and singing to his song um the song title was uh, someone help me out it was um Kweku the traveler yes Kweku the traveler um and you know and then we also did um we also watched performances from Sina So and uh, Aquabua. Then it, it you know dovetailed into Sina and Kelvin Boy, and then to Camido or Camido and Kelvin Boy, um, and then Kitty joined on stage. Kitty was a guest yesterday on the show as well. If you want to watch that interview, just uh, go on our socials. You'll find it on there. Um, we also watched that um, you know that heartwarming performance from Joe Metal and um, Ohima. Was it Ohima Messi? Oh, him are messy and then yes. Afe Grace. And Afe Grace also. I love that performance. Now, um, today we also, um, our very own sister, Mona Faril, was on the stage. Let's start our conversations and enjoy by enjoying this performance uh, from Mona. Well, I'm being told it's not yet ready, but once we just get that um, uh, ready on screen for you, as well so season uh, a new season of big brother has <clears throat> bigger pardon has just kicked off um you can catch it on channel 149 on dstv and on go tv on um sorry on 198 on dstv and 149 on go tv or you can also dial star 759 hush to stay connected and enjoy all the drama of uh, and more of biggie's twist daily don't miss out on 
um, BBN season nine. It's a must watch. Now, let's go watch Mona For Real, ready on the screens. From the Grand Arena, Accra International Conference Center, the fifth annual Three Music Awards 2022. More than music.
BBBC and that was uh, Mona for real. Just and then going into Kweku Darlington and then to Kwame Yogurt. We're going to be discussing these three performances in just a bit. Uh, whilst we are at that, um, again, quick reminder do you want a British degree at a fraction of the cost? Now, do you want a vibrant student experience in a community that ex equips you? Um, with useful employability skills, uh, taking you a step closer to your uh, the career of your dreams, then do that with Lancaster University because your degree program can offer you um, up to 50% scholarship at Lancaster and you get to be taught by the finest faculty of trained UK standards at their ultra-modern campus. More info, lancaster.edu.gh. Or you can also uh, email at ad admissions at lancaster.edu.gh or call 0209-607008. It is the only <laughs> British university campus in West Africa. All right. Now, um, guys, so please, you saw all three performances. Um, uh, be as um, open, plain uh, as you, you may want. You know, I saw a few flaws in there as well. Um, and I saw, and I, I loved, I loved the colors on stage that I can give it stage, um, not the performance. I'm talking about the stage setup. I loved it. Then I come to the fashion sense of, uh, um, the dancers from, uh, Mona for real. Uh, yes, I, I loved, I loved it. Uh, however, I had a challenge with, um, you know, the, um, the, the, the miming bit, but I'm told that it was a whole set, you know, for that, for that category, that, that's, that uh, block of performances mm -hmm. was supposed to be mine. But anyway, let me just pick your feedback on what you think. Um, uh, Oli, I'll start with you. Or I should sing BB, BC. Or I should sing BB, BC. Well. You said, are you shy? <laughs> 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 One of Rose performance. Um, I think it was piss poor. Um, ah. Probably a piss poor performance. Um, I think the only takeaway was the incredible choreography. Calm you. Um, <laughs> Calm Yeah, I think it was for me. It was, ah. Was yeah. the proposition of Chabam this morning? It's all up. Yeah, it was peaceful. Um, yeah. No crowd uh, connection whatsoever. Yeah, I think she was just yeah. having fun on stage. <laughs> we just her having fun on stage. I think she was just excited to be on stage. You know, to perform her favorite oh. records. Um, mm. I would rather listen to the record um, as it were with an MP3 mm. uh, or MP3 playlist. The oh. takeaways there were um, mm. the choreographers were dope. Um, I think they brought energy to the <laughs> stage. Um, the art direction, I think, was um, was spot on. Um, pretty colorful, even though they were in black shades. Um, I don't know what's up with the red gloves. I don't know what's happening there, but uh, you know, she she was. I think in the video, yeah, they carried that. Um, you know, ha that whole yeah, uh, sensual but, uh, but did bad it work? Girl. I mean, did it work? I, I'm not too sure, but I think the the stage did its thing. The lighting did its thing. The screens did it, did their thing. Um, the uh, the what do you mean? Like I said, the choreographers were were, were dope. Um, I think, um, <coughs> I think she made it too obvious that she was my man, um, which I think takes away from the performance. And if we really want to uplift and uphold the standards of industry, and I think artists or performers should really invest in really giving us what we call <coughs> a live performance. You know, I mean, with, 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 well, I mean, I don't see the difference between this and staying at home and blasting it in my speakers, to be fair. <coughs> I can, I can listen to the performance. In fact, when we were watching it mm -hmm. again, I wasn't watching it, I was just listening to, to the record because, mm -hmm. I mean, the only thing that is catching my eye is the, the Kevin Shaw's nature of the, of the singer and that of the, <coughs> the booty shaking going on the, on the, on the stage. But clearly there was no connection with her and the audience. And to make it worse, I don't know whether it was intentional to put, all three of them in the same block because Koko Dalentin and that of uh, uh, Kwame Yogurt still made it. Koko Smoke. Kwe, no, Koko Dalentin and Kwame, Kwame, Yogurt. Kwame Yogurt, right? Yeah. Kwame yes. Yogurt. Yeah, they all came to continue what uh, Mother has started. And Aye. I think it's, uh, it was, for me, I think it was a piss poor performance. That block, mm. piss poor performance. It took away from um, the experiences we had with I the like Blanco, Camido. Mm. <laughs> 
Black Hole, Camido, um, Sinaso, and Aqua Bodems, and that's what. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask this question. Um, because it, it's these things happen in a lot of awards uh, award shows, yeah. right? Um, who is who carries the blame? Is it the um, maybe the technical direction mm. that wasn't um, because it's a look and feel thing we are watching mm. on the screen, mm. or is it the artist that carries? Uh, uh, well, how will you uh, give the percentage? Person who is responsible for that? Yeah, not entirely, oh, okay. uh, entirely. But how will you give the percentage in terms of responsibility? Mm. Mm. I don't know if you really want to look if at that. If you added me to the <coughs> Ghana Olympic 100 meter runners, mm -hmm. whose fault would it be? <laughs> you are not up for the task. It's simple. The Why you can't do 100, 100 meters? And die? <laughs> <laughs> or like, I should go and come back alive? No, but I think that everybody no, will no, have no, a no, part no. to play in it. Like, if I like if Jay adds you, wait, wait, wait. I'm just saying that if Jay adds you and you two, you go, then you two, you have a part to play yes, in it because yes, you also would I know that... Why would, I not go? Why, would not, why would I not go when I've put in my bio that I'm an athlete? The diff the point <laughs> the point Olele is making is valid and I love the fact that No, it's he, valid, it's valid. He, he, it he is. ended it on a good note by celebrating those who actually go the extra mile to invest in their craft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The black holes, uh, you know, the other artists he Sinasol, mentioned, Sinasol, etc. Mm. Because if somebody they, they 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 do the thing and do the hard work, where somebody to take out like beans. Oh, no, they do pay I'll go overlay for me. It, that's the result you get. So the as for production, technical, stage, choreography, etc., they all came out. The fashion design on Monet set spot on. Spot on. Yeah. Choreographers, they dance their back backsides <laughs> off. Lighting on point. Whoever managed the stage, she moved off there, went in the bathtub. Lighting was on there. They did the whole halo. Yeah. Which, every, yeah. Everybody else was awake halo. except for I said halo. Yeah. The whole, I, 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 said, <laughs> I said the whole halo thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, you can play it back. No, you know what? Uh, Lenny, 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 uh, Lenny. Oh, that Lenny, one there. Yeah, I'm too poor here, hello. It's a whole hello thing. It's okay, fine. no problem. Since you, come, you let me land there, you can laugh at me. <laughs> some fire. Please the, go out, go out. You know, everybody, everybody, everybody there yeah. took their job seriously except for the artist. Mm. And that's why you said it's piss poor. And I, I mean, I, I cannot, there's not enough cement enough for me to give you. <laughs> The foundation you need for this point. <laughs> Solid point, my brother. If I buy that same now. I still can't give you enough cement. Yeah. You know, I mean, everybody came to work that day except for the artists. And we need to, to, to fix that. And we need to be the force that differentiates that. And I think going forward, that's what we are trying to achieve. Because connecting through music is about connecting. And the Bluetooth did not pearl on that communication. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to ask a question. Yeah, please ask. What would make an artist want to mime? at a live event. <laughs> <laughs> this is out uh, of no, you pure, know I don't finish. know, yeah. yeah. Uh, are there any other artists on the panel? I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> One, inability. Inability. Two, mm -hmm. being either unsure or insecure okay. about your stagecraft. So mm -hmm. it's an insurance policy. How okay. about anxiety? It, it comes under being unsure or insecure because if you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't be anxious. Okay. None oh. of us is anxious here. No, but, but there if are I people went, who are always anxious before us, they do anything, no, even no. if they've done it like a billion yes, times. Yes, but over. they still go and do it. Yeah. That's the thing. So it's not anxiety that will uh, stop you. It's no, anxiety stop you. that like. It's okay to be anxious. Yeah. I've been on stage before and I've been anxious, but I still went and did it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you brought any artist here, they are also anxious. You understand? Yeah. Some, you know the trick that artists come out and they run up and down the stage before they start performing? It's warm up. Yeah, you know it's to dispel anxiety. Ask any artist. When they yeah. come out, yeah, 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 and they are doing all that running up and down, it's to connect and get the anxiety out of the way that, okay, they are ready for me. That's mm -hmm. why some of them allegedly take some... So, you know, so everybody has yeah, a way yeah, to yeah. do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you give up before you even show up and tell the producer ahead that tomorrow in show, I want to mind. That then there's a problem. Then there's a, then there's a problem. Okay. So, because we also celebrate people, I mean, we've had conversations where we say people who are excellent with live band, and we celebrate them. Yeah. So, those who are piss poor with, even with miming, we should give them their, yeah, their flowers. So, I, I want to understand out. that piss poor, is <laughs> it because, oh, is it because they're but miming? But you also say piss poor. Um, no, I'm just saying uh, what he like said. Like prostate. Casa. <laughs> is it because the miming didn't work for you? or Because I'm trying to understand if maybe miming is just not ideal at no, live you know, events, and if a person, an artist decides, you know, I'm going to mime. It has to be perfect. But maybe if it's not good, then we are bashing the Th person. That's what I'm saying. Do you know the song, I'm going to miss you, girl, I'm going to miss you? No. It's an old song. Yeah. Milli Vanilli. Yeah, Milli Vanilli. Yeah. They mimed their whole career. Yeah. And they, yeah. they found out. And they, they still filled stadiums. Yeah. Because yeah. the energy 
and the drop. You see, they will kneel down and sing to you with my minute. Great, so it means but there's not a problem with There's no problem with my That's what I'm saying that people mind. Okay. They have been parts of performances and things where she mimes. certain reports about her performances that there are some parts of her songs where she mimes. And that's okay. And they justified hers because of the vigorous intensity of her performances. After she comes and does all that, nobody has air. She'll be out of breath. Yeah. So so they produce the show with her. That's why I don't as in jam jam plenty. Yeah. So it's two things. If you look at the opera singers who need all the air they can take, they stand there like statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all if you are jumping from every truss on the stage, you are not going to and land and a come and give us Unless system. you are high on some leaf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, and I also think that it's it's it has to do with knowing how to perform, yep. right? It's a whole 360. If you're an artist, you should know that it's not only about showing up and singing. You have to show up and then also, while you are enjoying whatever you are doing yourself, you should also make sure that your your audiences are enjoying it as well because it, it just can't be you standing and singing because what we saw with um hajia for real was just her miming to all of the songs and then not even minding about whatever the audiences were doing there was i think there was a disconnect from yeah. what we okay. see so with even all of the how, the miming association how did they, they do the miming do you did they turn the mics on for the artist or it's off so okay. So, no, in certain cases, so it depends. yeah, in certain it cases, depends. it's on. It, it depends, and sometimes the artist knows when to just like you are singing, but you are not audible enough for the mic to pick it. Yeah, you are just mime is just moving your lips to synchronize. Yeah. So the right the, use of the word in this situation, I want to find out what was she, what was Mona and Kuku Darlington and um w the mics were open for them to ad lib their music yeah. Yeah. or to mime their music yeah. no so so in in the case of Coco Darlington, because they were obviously overly excited <laughs> they were actually doing um the miming because their mics were opened i don't know if you heard like sometimes yeah. you, you can hear, hear the mpc over the mic yeah over the mic but for mona you don't hear her voice until the latter part where she says say what say, say what so yeah. it could be it could either be a partnership with the tinkal team and say okay at the latter part of my performance just raise the volumes or raise the feather of my mic so that i can say 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 what but in the course of my performance i want to focus more on being sexy i want to focus more on being you know hot on stage and often what what happens but that what is done the performance exactly but see. at the same time to what also happens on the on, on the stage is when they realize that they are not really much of a stage or crowd controller or controllers. They allow the uh, external, you know, um, subjects on the mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. to get their attention mm -hmm. so that they can hide. Distraction. They can hide behind it. And I think I think that's what she did great at, you know, because and also kudos to the team, the production team behind the console on that night, because the way the cuts were taken on. If you are watching on screen and mm -hmm. you are not technical, you see a lot of action shots. So it's getting your attention, like you are seeing what's happening. But Mona as a person did not steal yeah. the attention yeah. with her voice. Yes. Well, she stole it with the cinematography of the performance, yes, it was an not act, with the voice. Not a, a but if you watch the Blacko performance, you watch Aquaba's performance, you watch Camido, you know, mm -hmm. so in a, you realize that even with the technical team, they were not even doing too many cuts mm -hmm. because the artists themselves were the already focus. in action. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get it. Uh -huh. You see... Uh, me even pay me is even paying me that we are made with mentioned Mona for real artist. Mona for real is an artist. <coughs> Please, Haja for real is a socialite. Mona uh, for real is the artist. Guy, both of them should sit down. Wow. Hey. Listen, <clears throat> when your skill and your craft get to a certain place, and you learn to work with live engineers, and what a live engineer does is that they strive to produce on set the same effect that your MP3 or your streaming whatever would have. Things like reverb, echo, a little delay, compression, you know, expansion on the voice, etc., are done in real time. So when you are singing and you get to a chorus where they know the crowd might back you on the chorus and they know you might be tired and need a, need a little support mm -hmm. there, then your live engineer on the on the on the mixer board then ups little things like reverb, mm. etc., so that your voice has a little yeah. euphoric effect. effect if yeah. you listen to lonely at the top, lonely, lonely, lonely. Even when you are watching his stage performances, you can hear that. the reverb on stage because there's a live mixer doing that. But as an artist, if you yourself no reach that stage, you don't even know that you need that down for you. 
You get what I'm saying? So, for yeah. example, the Hard GR performance, it was monotone. It's the same thing throughout. throughout. Yeah. Whereas chorus has come that there should have been some, you know, some dynamics around it, etc., for us to even experience it. So, like, what Olele is saying is 200% on point. It was about the theatrics, the costume, not, the dancers, the, the props, not, not like everything else but her voice. Powers, not know, yeah. about music. Not, it was not about she music. Just came there to look it was about just sexy. Yes. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. So that's it. Like, like you said, the other guys had energy at least. Yeah. Yeah. They had energy. They brought their persona, brought persona. onto stage. Yeah. So their miming was not a big deal. Yeah. Because they were actually acting out. And it's like if um, MOP or Buster Rhymes was even miming, we wouldn't care. Because the energy. They'll give you your energy. Yeah. You understand? You probably wouldn't even realize they are mine because the amount of energy they go bring on stage. If, let's say, for for example, Kwak Ese came to mind, nobody would even care. Because they are about that energy alone. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. know that this yeah. guy, whether his yeah. voice is coming or not, is not a problem. Okay, yeah. so, so, yeah. so, what is the advice to singers? Mm. Um, if you can't reach the same tones, you know, um, voice clarity and all you did in the studio works, would it be advisable that you? Um, you stop. You <laughs> not stop. You mime, and not ad lib because rappers they can get away with it. Yeah, they can. So that's I'm realizing yeah. that in but this combo, rappers are even doing you see, better these days. Exactly. Rappers and are doing like I've seen manifest perform yeah. live. Live. Every, yeah. every rapper Crazy. I know can perform yeah, live. So. Performing live. Crazy. Yeah. Like, and you see what I've also noticed about the rappers is that they have a way of controlling their breasts or they have mm -hmm. some breath control techniques you know. isn't that that should be for every artist yeah. shouldn't yeah. it yeah but unfortunately some of the singers are not like i feel like some of the singers is two things you either focus on letting the world know how great your vocals are and let the excitement and the jumping and the dancing be done by your choreographers mm. or you pace yourself within the performance so the person who does this very well that I have seen a stone boy in Ghana. He paces his performances where he knows that at this point in there he's going to be jumping and jumping and jumping. At that time sometime. he's letting the crowd mm -hmm. sing for him. Right? Then he Samini does that too. So put the blah 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 he goes up, up, up and down. Then he lets the crowd and the yeah. band do the singing. Mm -hmm. So whilst he's recovering to, you know, take back the mic and sing for you, by the time you are done jumping and he's ready to now sing to you. Mm. Benamba also does the same thing. Benamba has a part where his in his performance. Yeah, Benamba. Oh. <laughs> <Benaboy. laughs> we'll, we'll get to later. You know yeah. what I mean. So you realize that Benamba. 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 You don't right. need to speak you it. can find like okay, Rick okay, Ross. The woman Rick Ross comes and does, huh? You know, it's the song nice. is even is nice. Mm. Tell, uh, crack, close it. Okay. You understand? Like you don't need to be pitching you don't need or to whatever. Be yeah. you don't need, oh, the way your face is like your voice for day high. No, we always make it work. So with rap, it's not a problem. But when you are singing, right, what you are doing is you turn your internal system into an instrument, right? Hmm. Mariah Carey's voice. Oh. Her instrument is totally different from Beyonce's. I said Mariah Carey. What is it? Yeah, I can say Mariah, Maria, <laughs> Maria. Like, make a bad and we love her. Maria. Uh, uh, all, all vocalists are different, right? Like, Stoneboy is not going to be compared to Joe Thomas, right? Joe Thomas cannot sit with R. Kelly, right? Bob Marley is a singer, right? But he's also not genuine. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, they count in the side. U
both of them are in that space of depth, but yeah. totally different. Yeah. It's the technicality they apply, what mic to use, how to record, how close or far I should be from the mic, whether I need reverb or I need compression. For singers, there's a lot of work it takes to be a good singer. And when you are done being a great singer in the studio, you now need to listen to what you've produced and go through the voice coaching, etc., from a live performance voice coach. Mm -hmm. There's a totally different voice coach. Well, some know how to do both. But there's a totally different technique for how to record and capture your voice. Mm -hmm. And a totally different uh, technique when you are standing on stage and all those technical aids are not there. Our singers don't do that. The moment the MP3 hit, they love it. Then now they come on stage and they cannot yeah, match that. Like the girl I keep complaining about that I won't mention that yeah, you know you are not It's young. fine. It's fine. At this point, Consume. now so, okay. do, do, do you get what I'm saying? But for a rapper, you're not sitting at the table Ooh. anymore. But, it's broken. But for a, for, for a rapper, we don't need that. I don't need to know what G sharp is to give you a punchline. Yeah. Right? Honest to God, if you went to any rapper today and you showed them musical notes, that choose G sharp and G <laughs> flat. It will not, not happen. It will not happen. Yeah. But you, as a, a, a vocalist, right, when you reach a stage and a pianist or a guitarist strikes a key, dun, 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 you, should you should know the know. key, everything, and know where yeah. to meet them. But what we do is that, oh, I'm high, can you lower it? The voice rather starts dictating to the, the band. <laughs> oh, so you see them on stage and they are doing this. Because where they are taking the live performance Your to... Your voice needs to mean cops. Unavailable. The ride is <laughs> offline. Uh. So at this point, does it mean that if you cannot perform live, but you can make great music in the studio, keep the music... Recording going. artists. That's we why there's a the difference. Artists. We have totally performing different. artists, different. we have recording yeah. artists, and we have both. So, so, so you should know yourself. You should know yourself. Your strength. You should not be on... Uh, like me, when I start music, name. I'll be a recording the artist. artist. Because in the studio, we can turn Lenny into the biggest hit. Yes, but don't book Lenny for live show. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying exactly. I'm trying to make a case I'm because I'm trying to make a case because Jay, see, there are some people that would love to see someone on stage, and you so even it. though I would, there's a, the person is a recording artist, right? Sometimes for an event, they would like that person to come on stage, and at that point, I feel like it's okay for them to mind because mind because they know that. I'm a recording artist, but then maybe because of my aesthetic and because of the fact that visually, you know, I'm aesthetically pleasing to the people. I put a lot of work in my visuals. And so people like to see that live on stage. On stage. And mm -hmm. so if um, a show or some people would like to replicate, it's okay for me to mind more. No, but that's also the the honors lies on the artist to know that i'm this kind of artist i won't thrive well on stage because if you have a fan base who know that you're a recording artist they may not even know well, what type of artist you are you know okay. so if you are a recording artist you should know if you can't thrive on stage you should know yes. because guess what you will go and then you you are forgetting also ac mm -hmm. that performing on stage is not just about your vocals or True singing no. right it's a whole performance. It's yeah. called performance for a reason. Mm -hmm. So you need to probably be dancing Work or out, be doing, you know, the car connection. Mm -hmm. You need yeah. to be doing all of that. Yeah. Do you yeah. understand? So if you are just sure. standing there and sure. you're singing, it's not just about the voice. That's right. So you should know yourself as the artist. You should know that I'm a recording yeah. artist yeah. only. I'm a performing artist only. Or I can do both. Often. And then that way you can, when they book you, you can tell them that yeah. I go feed do am or I no feed do am. Or God, because the proper booking agent Agent knows oh, no. yeah. who a performing artist is, yeah. who he meets for this crowd, and who, but Ghana, one, we know child. Two, everybody <laughs> to say, you know, everything. Yeah. So, I didn't have fra fra. All right, so, you know, um, there's stone in, in the in, beans. In wrapping up, <laughs> uh, who are, what do you think of the new generation of um, artists that have, you know, recently been rolled out in the past, let's say, three, four years? Um, are we leaning more towards performing artists? Recording are we artists. Recording, recording artists. artists yeah. or recording, because validation um, comes artists. instantly on social media and digital. Recording. And they're streaming. Performing artists are more in the alter Alter. Space. Yes, I was going yeah. to say that what we've defined as alter, alter. is 99% performing artists because they they pay attention to, to their craft, craft to yeah. you know why hey, i think and it's I think all sweet and nice i stand yeah. to, to be corrected but no, you're sitting back on <laughs> <laughs> i think with that group that outer group is because they are very progressive and incremental with their audience engagement Mm. What I mean is, they start with boutique shows, intimate shows. Uh, you know, boutique so shows. Boutique. boutique. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, furry. You see why yeah. yesterday we're like we know G. <laughs> Everybody had boutique. 
<laughs> Everybody had to sick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, so they start they start small. They start small. So Booty for example, yes, so when Kitty was here, Saturdays. when, when, <laughs> when Kitty was here, Kitty is a perfect example. Of uh, anyway, Charlie, let me spoil the conversation. Right. The, I, I'm angry with everybody. You right. waited till I left before you brought the fear out, though. You know that when I was sitting there, I was like, oh. sorry, just say sorry. When I saw the thing, then, 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 I when I said that, when I said that thing, when I saw that thing, then mm, I give for Nigeria. If I even listen small, you go hear me. Then mm, mm, I give for that. Yeah. And, and, and I was, I, I'm establishing this to here. say that that is why the last time we had a conversation about you know the lack of incubation or the lack of you know the processing <laughs> for of example <laughs> you see you you know like set certain shows certain incubation. platforms example. that were serving as incubated because uh, a show like moonlight cafe if was a perfect or like it's it a was perfect like, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. i mean yeah or listen to life, or listen to life you get me or even bless the mic, bless the mic yes. you know yeah. like that is where you mm. you know whether child like you are ready for i should it. stay in the studio or, or i not. can come outside you are if if you are trash you are trash if you can't move the crowd you can't move the crowd but that time you learn you have to learn because you should be able to do a show and have people come and say, So oh, I think the mistake that we most uh, huge platforms make is to just pick these the people from pick, them them pick their recording yeah, artists yeah, yeah. and yeah. want Even to make them these, performing um, artists. Um, you know, hit makers and stuff like that. They're running extinct. They're not, yeah. they're, not, yeah. they're not there anymore. But I mean, yeah. apart from that mistake that organizers make, Hadja uh, Foray is not an artist. Hey. Uh, well, 11, hmm. <laughs> 10. Hadja Foray is not an artist. Two minutes fast. Neither one of them, bro. I have to close this team. No, but she can't be because you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but before everything happened, Happened. Yeah. She said that she was training and Her she was yeah, yeah. doing uh, vocal training there. and let's all of that. Let's so let's I mean, get she's, she's um, unrooted. Let me do I have a six pack or I, will I have, have to pack. close this team. I have to close this microphone um, because if we don't do that, <laughs> this is not going to end well, to end in tears. And on that note, our time is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, on that note, we have to wrap out of here. But please keep the smile on your face. Uh, smile confidently with President Charcoal or the herbal toothpaste. Um, brush your teeth morning and evening. Pep Student has been educating Ghanaians on how to brush their teeth for 25 years. It's recommended by the Ghana Dental Association. Pep Student gives you opportunity to talk to your dentist for free. Call the toll-free 800 161 000 to talk to a dentist. Uh, and we out. Culture Daily was brought to you by Telesale.